Phew, it's got you again. So, right, we've got all that cement board off eventually, and I've got to say, it was a pain in the ass. So you see, the web rendered has gone off well. We've got new cement boards, 12 millimeter thick, A1 STS cement boards. Uh, the rated A1 because you can use them internally as a fire rated substance. Uh, yeah, so you could use them as a firewall if you wanted in flats or whatever. What I did, I went to buy them, went to get the fixings for them because it's a, a screw and then it has like a larger washer or horizontal plate to clamp it so the heads don't just pull through. Non in stock. So they could sell that, but they didn't sell the um, screws to go with it. Yeah, I've got my jackery in, so. It's charging nicely at 67 watts, free power. That's what I like to see. Yeah, so I'm going to start measuring these to 925 mils, which is the drop from the top there down to the bottom, and then we'll be ripping them down. All right, catch you all there. Right, I was going to cut these with the, what they call it, jigsaw, but um, I changed my mind on that, then I was going to use a rip saw, I ain't brought my rip saw with the shitty blade in, so I'm going to use an angle grinder, I think that should do us a good job, good trip, easier than using the wood saw. Simple enough, and yeah, I know I didn't wear my mask. So, what who gives a toss is me, my problem, innit? Right, crack on with the rest. Just because the truth's you right. Right, that's all them all cut. Right, you'll notice as well on this, uh, no more ply boarding. I don't know if you can see it, it's quite bright. But it says apply your finish to this side. So you've got a side which takes your final finish and the side which obviously doesn't. All right, so you're gonna make sure you get it the right way around or your stuff will be just falling off. All right, so the text is the side your finish goes on to.
So here's the screws. 38 mil, 200 in there. I wanted the ones what took the um, the plate, but these are designed for the cement board and they're a self-tapping screw. Uh, there's a Torx bit, and it provides you with a Torx bit. And there we go. I'm wondering whether Tom's brought me these as well, these washers. Uh, I'll see how they hold out. So what I'll do, I'll get the boards up. I'll just get a couple in and see how it works out. What I am going to do is I'm going to start the screws on here. So I'm going to mark out where our struts are on there, onto here. Put a few in, then when I lift it up, it's just a case of driving the driver home. And I'll have to struggle trying to start the screw. Alright, catch you in a bit. Right, what I've done, I've made you where the struts are. So the first strut is 36mm thick, so I've gone about 20mm in. The next centre is 360 and the next one is 780. So I'm just going to drive a few of them in now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put one in each corner for now. Well, one each side in the corner. I'll draw lines down and plumb them in later. So they'll just self-tap the way in. get that up there Some more screws in there in a bit. This ain't brought them up on here, Get a green gun.
put the board going too far this way now. Same again. I measure where the struts are. So first one is going to be 20 mil. Well, uh, sure, actually not 20 mil. Where's my pencil? 20 mil plus 12 mil, 32 mil. I'll put my pencil. Oh bloody hell! There it is. Yeah, so it's 12 mil for the thickness of the ball, and then half the thickness again of the timber that's used. In this case, 38 mil. So that's a. Uh, Oh, 35 mil. So let's go 35, and then we'll say 330. 800 is there, so we'll go. Well, I just have to put the trims on now. A little corner and the drip bead there. Underneath there is going to be plastic trim. Uh, so I'll wet my way across to the front. Yeah, jobs are good. One. Okay, drip bead, corner bead, and a stop bead up to the corner. And the same on the other side. It didn't cost the centre yet because I'm needing it. A long piece for there, and the piece I've got isn't long enough. But there, there you go. You can see that. There's the trip, and there's the corner. There we go then. Hold on. So, so I've got to put some more screws in there yet. Oh yeah, that'll do. I'll prime it tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I've got to get that paint off there. I've totally forgot about that side. Yeah. On with the next stage. So what I've done, I've put a reinforced scrim cloth across the joints and around where the beads meet the board. Now this is going to get its primer coat next. But when it comes to putting the top coat on, there will be a layer of mesh across the entire thing. So I'm just using this as belt and braces for me. You can see here, I've done it all the way around and I've even put a few horizontal bits on, just because just that's what I wanted to do. All the bead has got a section of scrim all the way around it. So to, to me, that's always a weak point. Like I said though, once the primer coat's on here, the um, monocouche will take a thin coat or first pass, you put your mesh on, you bed that in and then you run second pass. And I'm going to make, mix up some primer and get that on. Right, so I'm just going to put this on. I get a skim coat, don't have to be too thick. I'm going to do off the ladders because I'm not moving the rig. Work it. This is 
of the grit what's in it, you get the right thickness every time. When it starts to go off, it shouldn't take too long in this heat. I'm just going to go over it with a brush again, a hard thistle brush, just to texture it like I've done the main wall. I'll go over the beads as well just to make sure that helps that along can't be spread too thin because of the mixture Yeah, you have to do it on a two pass. So no, you I get, didn't know that. Yeah, you get your first thin coat on, then you bed the mesh. Did you get them other timbers back in? Yeah, 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 I reinforced them. Um, so you just lost one, mate. Right? Did you just Yeah, them yeah, back yeah I, I just, I just, that's what I got the nails for you. So oh, you nailed them in. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you do a pass with the monocoche. Yeah. Um, and then you put your net on bed it into it and then you do your second pass so it's not great shakes no no good oh, yeah, yeah, it looks, it looks better i'll get this on and then give it a comb yeah
Oh, yeah, I was again.